Tiny Hero, Big World. That's the first thing you'll notice as you go below. The deftly chiseled caverns in Morning Mist are to be marveled at, but the elements ignore you and the big picture of the hero's environment refuses to be diminished by zooms or punch-ins. It's a real commitment to scale, made more amazing when coupled by the fact that Capybara is using procedural dungeon generation. Surprisingly, we haven't experienced the off-putting, inorganic feeling that often comes from random number generators as we wandered around, breathing in the grand atmosphere. Below is the latest game from Capybara, and along with the upcoming Super Time Force, it's set to make minimalist waves on the Xbox One, hopefully in the near future. An eventual Steam version has been promised as well. Our hands-on time at PAX East allowed us to try to live up to the game's tagline of Explore, Survive, Discover. We didn't have much trouble exploring, and once you get the hang of that, the discovering feels pretty natural, but surviving is harder than it looks. Like many games, Below has followed some roguelike trends, and with it, a sense of grave danger. Death is a permanent condition here, and making a run to your corpse is necessary to recover your accumulated stuff. You'll probably get used to it. Even a tiny nick from an enemy is a big concern, with every little flesh wound causing an on-screen hemorrhage, which can turn a fight into a retreat so you can desperately bandage an injury. Our starter sword and shield allowed us to whack at the creatures as tiny as us and cower behind our defenses when things look bad. There's no lock-on, making the combat feel even more dangerous, but a bow gave us a bit of an advantage at a few points. The quiver isn't endless, though arrows can seemingly be recovered. We also managed to find a spear before death overtook us, and saw other PAX attendees with a few different weapons as well. Capybara also mentioned a crafting system, though we didn't last long enough to discover it. There's still a lot to ponder about Below, though for now we're happy to watch and re-watch the gameplay at hand, trying to discern a bit more beneath the surface from these remarkable pixel petroglyphs. Mm -hmm.